What is LP gas? LP gas is... Huh. I don't know. I never use the stuff. I don't know. Long playing gas. Look, I've got to go to a party. It's a fuel. It burns clean. Is it dangerous? I'm sure I don't know and don't need to know. Well, I've never had any trouble with it, but <laughs> I've never used the stuff either. It could be, you know, like gasoline if you didn't know how to use it. If you're going to be working with LP gas, then you'd best know what it is and how to work with it because what you don't know can hurt you. LP gas, liquefied petroleum gas. It's one of the most versatile fuels available today, serving folks from country farms to large cities, individual families to big industry. LP gas also serves our highway department. When handled properly, LP gas performs a wide variety of jobs, safely and reliably. It burns readily with a hot, clean flame. It's easily transported and stored. But it's these same characteristics that make LP gas dangerous if handled incorrectly. Liquefied petroleum gas comes from the ground as a gas. But under pressure and at certain temperatures, the gas becomes a liquid. It's clear and colorless, like water. Since it has no natural scent, a distinct odor is added. It is in its liquid state that we haul it, store it, and refuel with it. To keep LP gas in its liquid state, we control its pressure and temperature. Special pressure vessels that are designed and built under a national code adopted by the State Railroad Commission contain the fuel. As long as the fuel and containers are treated properly, we avoid dangerous situations. There are five main ways to prevent dangerous circumstances. One is to allow only trained personnel to fill containers. Please stop the tape and consider this question. Why could overfilling a container be dangerous? You could compare filling a container with LP gas to filling a balloon with air. On a hot day, the air expands, and if you didn't leave enough expansion space, then... The same is true with this container, except that the liquid expansion of LP gas is much faster than air, and the pressure is much greater. And unlike a balloon pop, a container failure could be devastating. Containers do have pressure relief valves, but when liquid escapes, it freezes up the relief valve. Or the valve may be stuck or broken. Never assume the valve will work. Overfilled cylinders may rupture, like this one that sent the metal guard into a pickup, cutting through the roof, just missing a four-year-old girl's head. In another situation, a cylinder that had been filled at 8 in the morning got hot by 2 in the afternoon when the temperature reached 98 degrees. The container ruptured and actually rocketed some 94 feet into a children's playground. A properly filled cylinder contains about 84% liquid, which leaves space for expansion. If a cylinder was filled full of liquid, each degree of temperature increase would add 1,800 pounds of pressure per square inch on the walls of the container. To avoid a container failure, the cylinder must not be overfilled. You can understand why it's vitally important that only persons trained in filling techniques fill the containers. Filled correctly, the cylinders will contain and disperse LP gas appropriately. Another way to prevent dangerous situations is to detect leaks. A leak is a potential danger because the fuel is highly flammable, like gasoline or natural gas. In a moment, stop the tape to consider this scenario. This MT3 discovered a leak in the system. If 
the gas is invisible and the liquid looks like water, how did he know there was a leak? The distinct odor is one clue that propane is escaping. This fog is another sign of leakage. When liquid propane leaks, it expands rapidly, vaporizing. It gets very cold when it expands, similar to an aerosol spray can. The moisture condenses in the air and forms a dense white fog. Since LP gas is heavier than air, the vapors stay close to the ground. If a leak does occur, you should report it immediately. Being able to detect leaks is an important part of working with LP gas. Storing the containers correctly is another way of preventing accidents. Cylinders should be stored outside of buildings in fenced areas protected from tampering. Stop the tape to consider this. Why do you think it's important that containers, full or empty, be stored outside of buildings? We store cylinders outside of buildings because cylinders located in shops during a fire have been known to rupture, causing a great deal of damage. In the event of a fire or leak, call the fire department. If possible, keep the container cool, but do not try to put the fire out. The gas could reignite and result in a flash fire. It's important that you report any incident to your equipment supervisor. Your report is vital it could save someone else's life. Another key in preventing dangerous situations is to handle cylinders carefully. The main things to remember are, one, do not drop or throw containers. Two, check the exterior of the cylinder for defects, such as a broken condensation ring, dents, gouges, bulges, rust or corrosion. Three, Keep the cylinders clean and painted with reflective paint, like white or aluminum. Stop the tape now and list reasons why these rules are important in handling the LP gas cylinder. If you drop or throw the cylinder, you could unknowingly damage its internal parts, weakening it. The other defects could also weaken the cylinder, and undetected could lead to container failure. The reflective paint helps keep the container cool. If you have any problems with a container, report it to your supervisor who should let a licensed dealer handle it. You can further prevent problems by using LP gas properly. For example, wear the protective gear. Propane freezes and causes frostbite. So wear protective neoprene gloves. Also, touch the bottom of the container to ground yourself before closing the vapor relief valve. Don't have running engines of fire under the truck or anyone smoking when you start up, transfer LP gas, or exchange cylinders. And turn the relief valve away from yourself and other people. If you learn the basic rules of working with LP gas and you follow them, you'll be one of the millions of people using this desirable fuel safely because you know the answers to the LP gas questions. What is LP gas? How do you handle it? Is it dangerous? Where do you store it? Well, now I know that it comes from the ground as a gas, but under pressure, it turns into a liquid. That's why we call it liquefied petroleum gas. Happy birthday. Well, it looks like water, but it has an odor so that you can tell when it's leaking and prevent an accident. There's several other ways that we can avoid accidents. One is to let only qualified personnel fill the containers. Another way is to store the containers outside of buildings in a fenced area. If there's a fire or a leak, we call the fire department. So that we don't damage the cylinders, we don't throw them or drop them. We keep an eye out for any defects on the cylinders and we keep them clean and painted with reflective paint. We wear protective gloves and ground ourselves before handling the cylinders. 
We make sure that there's no one smoking nearby, the trucks are not running, there's no fire under the truck, and we also turn the relief valves away from anyone. Excellent. You now know the basic characteristics and the safety rules of LP gas. What you know now can help you. It can save your life.